Hey guys, this is Shots, and welcome to a brand spanking new Let's Play of a game that you guys probably didn't really ever see coming. Um, if you guys know the text and everything, then you know what game I'm playing. And if you know that there's a soccer ball in the game, then you probably definitely know what game I'm playing. And if you know that voice, then you definitely know what game I'm playing. And, and that one, you should that should have been the giveaway right there. But if it wasn't... I'm going to let you guys know right now that I am doing a Let's Play of Super Mario Strikers. The soccer game, I know. Shots playing soccer? Come on. You play sh football, Shots. What is this? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I like this game. This game's a lot of fun. So, um, I'm going to leave all these extra things off, but I'm going to fool around with them later. This is only the first cup, so I don't really give that much of a fuck. They have a bunch of different characters you can use. They got uh, Balance Captain, Offensive Captain, Defensive Captain, and they got some Playmakers as well. I'm a Playmaker, so I'm going to stick with Luigi and Hammer Bros. I'm not going to be switching up. This is my team. Expect to see this every video. There's never going to be a switch. Our first matchup is against Yoshi, so let's kick some Yoshi ass. Let's make this motherfucker wish that he was not green, because we're the only green thing that can live, let's be honest here. Luigi's the green machine. Yoshi's just a dinosaur and just painted green. I mean, Yoshi can literally come in any color. Luigi will always be green. That's why I always got mad whenever Luigi was blue in, like, the Mario Party games, because, like... Mario Party, I mean, Luigi only wears green, whereas, like, Yoshi, he can be any color he wants. So it was always, I always thought it was lame. I'm not going to watch this intro. We're just going to get right into this. I'm going to try to fit in two matches in one video every video. Oh, wow. I've never done that before. I just missed that. That's never happened. But we're going to try to get as many, or not as many, but we're going to try to get at least, uh, wow, I already scored. We're going to try to get at least two matches a video. This will work good for the first tournament, because I think there's four matches total, so that should be good. I skip my replay. I'm not, don't expect that often. I'm not normally going to skip the replay, because the replays are always awesome. Also, I want to make a highlights video, and that'll probably be the best to do with the replays, so just keep that in mind. I'll have to... Oh, God. Wow. Oh, I hate you. You suck so hard, Yoshi. I got this. It's okay. I'm better than that, I think. I try to be better than that. So anyways, um, I got back from PAX. This is actually the first, aside from the GoldenEye video that you guys have already seen, this is actually the first time I've been able to record since being home from PAX. And uh, I had a lot of fun. A lot of people were asking me, how much fun did you have and stuff? And I haven't been able to answer because um, I've been really sick. So now I'm going to take that time to answer how much fun I had at PAX. If you could imagine how much fun it would be to... Oh my god, Bowser. And Yoshi got in the way of my shot. Okay. <laughs> Get out of here, Bowser. You're so racist. Oh my god, I hate Bowser. The Bowser attacks, I'm definitely getting rid of those. Those are not going to be a thing. Like, those are the first things I'm going to get rid of. And I'm glad you saw it in the first episode, because the next tournament, they're not going to be there. I hate the Bowser attacks. They suck so hard. And there's goal number two. We got it with the Hammer Bros. Hammer Bro to Hammer Bro. <laughs> Hammer Bro to Hammer Bro connection. Look at that. That's beautiful. I don't know, is that a scissor kick, or is that just a flip kick? Like, I don't know the soccer terms. I'm not very soccer savvy. I just know that I can score goals because I play hockey. I know how to score goals and get open and positions and stuff and tearing up things with a pass and the angles and everything. Bam, watch, ready, goal. Oh, that was close. Get out of here. Oh, I took them both out at the same time. Yes. Oh, God, that's Peter Forsberg-esque for sure. Oh, yeah, you can't handle this. You can't handle the, the Luigi green. Oh, juke. Juke the shells. Passing it up. I'm running, running, running. Come on. Oh, baby. That's a goal. No? Oh, you suck. I thought for sure that was a goal. Also, Luigi running faster than Yoshi probably shouldn't be a thing, but it is. Also, running faster with the ball shouldn't be a thing, but it also is. You definitely shouldn't run faster. In fact, I think... Oh! Bardisi! What? Oh! Oh! Oh, from the half point! Oh my god, Bardisi! Bar down! Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh! Oh! Oh, bar? What? Bar down! Oh, 
Oh! <laughs> Those goals are so amazing! It'd be better if I, like, shot it off the bar. Like, if I hit the crossbar and then down, oh! Oh, if I was like, bam, off the crossbar and in, then it'd be more amazing. But the fact that it hit the crossbar down and in is just, it's it's still pretty awesome. That's, like, one of the sickest goals you can get, I find, anyways. Because it never happens. Normally, the post is always against you. Oh! What the fuck was that, Luigi? You kicked it way too wrong or something or other. No, Yoshi, you ain't got shit on me. We're killing it. We're on a murder spree. I'm going to show you guys how to get a super strike right here. Let's see if I can get it. Ah, whatever. You gotta basically you gotta get it as close to the green parts as possible. Otherwise, the goalie will make a save. If you can get it, if you can get a super strike on the go, you can get two goals at most, I think. In the later game, it changes. You can get like seven goals or like five goals or something stupid. But in this game, for now, you only get two goals, which I find is either really cheap or really useful. Wow! Man, the Yoshi defense, man, they are sucking up a shitstorm right now. They don't know what to do. I'm not even gonna show off all the replays. I'm gonna, like, I'm one of the players who, like, shows off replays all the time, but, like, if it's not a sick replay, I won't show it off. Like, bar down? I gotta show the bar down. Come on now. Bar down from half point? Like, there's no way I'm not showing that off. Anyways, we take our first match, 4-1. to one. I would've liked to get the shutout, but, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter all that much. Luigi wins. Let's see what highlights we got, though. Oh, this highlight. That's right. This was pretty sick. Just chops it in the corner. That's pretty much how I go. Like, I'll always aim top corner, bottom corner. Like, I'm a guy who likes to put the ball in the corner, find a nice home and stuff. That's pretty much how it is. I go from post to post all with, all the time. That was just a nasty goal. I didn't enjoy that. That was just like, wow, thanks, brah. And, oh my god, is the bar down? Oh, I was hoping for, I was hoping it was going to be the bar down one. Whatever. Wow, we absolutely murdered Yoshi. Whatever. Anyways, so we're going to take on our next matchup, which is against, I don't know, probably somebody who won. I'll let you know. It looks like it's... Oh, not... not Okay, I thought it was going to be Waluigi, but it looks like we're taking on Daisy this time. Daisy, if I remember correctly, is an offensive captain. So, we're going to have to shut her down nice and early. We're going to have to make sure that she gets intimidated. We're going to have to beat her up a lot. We're going to have to check her a whole lot and show her that we're not taking her shit. You're not going to score any goals on us, Daisy. You're not even going to set up goals, because I'm going to fucking murder you. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. But anyways, I guess I should talk about PAX more. I had a lot of fun. This is the first video I'm actually able to talk about it, so I'm going to try to talk about it in this match, in this match alone. Um, I had so much fun at PAX. I got to hang out with people that I've known for... Wow! 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 Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> okay, I'm just going to ignore that for now, um, wow, <laughs> okay, so I had a lot of fun, I met up with a lot of YouTubers that I've known for many, many years, specifically, I met up with Chelsea 91 Blue Blazing Demon, Odin's Back 33 and we all shared a room with each other, it was a great weekend, I had a lot of fun with these people, um, another person, and the other people that we ended up hanging out with, which I've also known for a long time, Bubba, Chicken Feet, 12, and Battle On, those guys are a bunch of G's, and you know what? They made my time in Boston about as memorable as it could have been. And I would not have chosen another crew to go with, I'm going to be honest. That was the crew that I, lo I wanted to go with, and that was the crew that I stayed with, and that was the crew that made me have as much fun as I knew I was going to have while I was in Boston. Um, I did miss my family a lot. Um, mo more specifically, I missed my niece, because um, I'm a very good uncle sometimes and I really missed my niece uh, because you know she 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 actually while I was stepping onto the bus she was crying and so that made me cry because I'm a big softy like that because my niece is like the most precious thing in the world and I'm sure once you uh, once you guys become uncles and stuff you guys will understand how much of a how much of a prize or a, or a precious gift uh, having a niece and or a nephew uh, it really is um, it's not quite as special as having like your own kid, which I'm luckily I don't have because I'm I wouldn't want my own kid at this age. But I'm okay with having a niece because um, it's actually having a niece has m matured me to a point where I understand what's important. Um, not only with life, but just in general with family and everything, and I respect a lot of things a lot more than I did probably 
four years ago before my niece was born. So it's definitely given me the time to having a niece has given me the opportunity. It has given me the opportunity to mature as a as a man for sure. And um, I don't know. Just I I really I really miss, miss missed my niece's company, and it really showed on the final day when I was like sitting there looking at a photo, just so excited to go home. Oh wow! No, you're not getting this. <laughs> you're not. You're not winning. You're not getting a goal. We're gonna shut you down. We're gonna shut you down. <laughs> yes, this is a good match. Um, but yeah, so we did a lot of cool things. I would say my top three favorite panels were the uh, from starting from number three was seeing uh, story time with Cliff Blazinski. And if you don't know who Cliff Blazinski is, he is the main head developer at for. Uh, for the for the epic for epic games or was anyways he worked on games like Gears of War and the Unreal tournaments and hearing him talk about his life and how he got to where he was was probably one of the most uh, refreshing things one of the easiest one of the most um, fun times I'd had uh, because he was just so real and so straight up it was amazing and I would love to see him talk again for I don't know for hours on end because it was just that good. It was really, really good. I would say my next favorite panel after that was the Pocaholics Anonymous, which was held by uh, Underbelly, and uh, I don't know if Jay Witz is a part of Underbelly, but it was also, Jay Witz was there. Uh, he was one of the Pocaholics. Um, a lot of funny stuff happened during this panel. Uh, Chicken Fajita 12, actually, he ended up going up uh, to, for a drawing contest, and he ended up winning a poster that he may or may not have lost. So... That was really cool. I got to cheer him on. Chicken Fajita 12, we serve it up hot and fresh, baby. And then I'd say my next favorite panel was the uh, Runaway Guys panel. I actually got... The, f the reason this one is my top favorite is because I actually got to go up and play NBA Jam against another YouTuber named uh, PK Sparks. I'm not going to spoil what happens. If you want to watch the video, I will leave a link in the description so you can see. I will use the uh, copy video URL at the current time, and I will show... About 17 minutes and 30 seconds in is when NBA Jam starts to happen. I feel like the, the way that they edited it, they made me look like a real big dick. And if you look at the comments, there's a lot of hate towards me, I guess you could say. But to be honest, I was just having a fun time. I really didn't care. I don't really care all that much. Me and PK are cool still, so it's whatever. You know, they can say whatever they want. Um, in fact, oh, that's the highlight of the match, really? That is the worst highlight of the match I have ever seen. I'm going to have to watch that one more time. That is, We're going to watch that. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep talking. And when it gets to that point, that's when I'm going to end the video. But, um, yeah, so once again, I had a lot of fun with the Runaway Guys panel. Uh, Yoshida Mario and Madame Wario also went up, and that was really cool to cheer them on. And if I had to choose, like, a runner-up for my favorite panel, I would choose the OC Remix uh, panel that they had on Sunday. A really fun panel. Um, we got to listen to some cool-ass music, and I got to see Zanoni 11 and Horseface fight in a... Wow, that is... Wow. That really was one of the worst goals, one of the worst highlights of the matches I've ever seen. That's amazing. But, um... Look at those stats. Uh, and, you know, Zenonia 11 lost, and I cheered on Horseface, but that's because I was on Horseface's side. So I'm very competitive in that sense. But, um... Yeah, aside from all of that, I mean, PAX was probably one of the best weekends I've had in a long time since I started working where I've worked. And work definitely paid off because, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to go if it wasn't for work. And work is a shitty thing, but I definitely, you know what, after going, I, 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 dis, I just don't appreciate work as much anymore. I did what I wanted to do. The reason I started working at such a shitty job was because I wanted to go to PAX East, and now that I've gone, it's kind of like a lackluster job. So I'm going to begin looking for a new one fairly shortly. But um, up until then, I'm going to stick with what I got because, you know, it's a little bit harder to get a job in today's economy. And I've been talking for like two minutes. I've done this way too much already. So once again, guys, I just want to end the video off. I want to say uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you guys next time on part two where we will be taking on Waluigi and I guess whoever is the winner between Yoshi and Daisy. So anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Super Mario Strikers Part 2. Peace out.